Hi, it's me, Daphne. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing the end of the year book tag. I am filming this mid-November, so barely making it to the end of the year. Usually you do this tag going into fall, but I still wanna answer these questions for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? So yes, there are many books that are on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads. So let's take a look at that. So obviously I wanna finish most of these books I'm in the middle of by the end of the year, but I can't guarantee that. And I already know some of these have no shot of getting finished by the end of the year. Currently I'm in the middle of Sanctuary of Kings. I will definitely finish that in November. Daisy Jones and the Six, I have the audiobook from the library. I only have it for a few more days, so I would like to finish that. Um, I started, she started it, but I don't know, things came up and I didn't continue. I barely got into it. I do wanna read that. I don't know if I'll finish it this year. That's, that's my bad. I'm also in the middle of reading Animal Farm. I have like a low-key secret ASMR channel where I am reading Animal Farm in like whispers. <laughs> And I can do it. It's on the public domain. So yeah, I'm reading that chapter by chapter on that channel. So I'll continue it as I film more videos for that. I think I'm on like chapter eight now. And I think there's only like 10 chapters. I don't think I'll finish it by the end of the year, but maybe, maybe I'll batch film and just like blow through it. Cause the chapters are short, but it's like an extra effort to read it. I'm also still in the middle of Africa Risen, which is an anthology of sci-fi fantasy black stories. And I do own the physical copy, which I could have grabbed, but I didn't. <laughs> and I have the audiobook as well. Listening via audio is a lot nicer. So I should really pop that on here and there when I'm like just not doing anything productive. <laughs> but I don't think I'll finish it by the end of the year, to be fair. I also have like one more story in this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Strange Tales book. It's the longest one in the collection, to be fair. Oh, it has chapters, which is nice, but I might read this for my ASMR channel as well. So I don't think I'll finish this by the end of the year, but I'm currently in the middle of it, but one can dream. Babel, oh my God, I've been in the middle of Babel since October, 2022 when it first released. I'm pretty sure that's when it released. August, I went to this event in October. I started filming a reading vlog in October in 2022 and I got halfway through and I just wasn't loving it. Um, I was thinking maybe I would revisit it in 2023, but I didn't. So maybe that'll be a 2024 thing. <laughs> And then I also have um, 400 Souls, which is a nonfiction book that I have a physical copy of and I also own the audiobook. I'm definitely not gonna finish that this year. So the answer mostly is no <laughs> to this question. If I was gonna give a solid answer, I'd maybe say Animal Farm. That's it, moving on. I'm sorry. <laughs> the next question I kind of tweaked it says, do you have a fall slash winter book to transition into the end of the year? So normally it's just like an autumnal book, but here in New York, it's kind of giving winter already. Like it's still definitely fall still. Temperatures are like hitting high forties. It's like cold, okay? And I have low tolerance for cold. So I'm like, fall is gone. I've just given into the fact that it's winter now. So let's just go with the winter book. And I was thinking, I haven't read an Ice Planet Barbarian book in so long that I should pick those back up again. It's perfect to read in the cold weather. You can just feel the environment more for the story and just like be that much more connected to like how these characters probably feel being in this like ice tundra. <laughs> So maybe I'll pick up some more Ice Planet Barbarian books this winter. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so for the Ice Planet Barbarian series, I've read 13 books. I haven't read like the mini ones in between. I just read like the main ones. So I'm on book 14 called Barbarian's Rescue. No idea what that's about. <laughs> I cannot tell you what this book is about, but I'm shocked. I like this series, like it's silly. Not all the books are great, but some of them are like really, really fun. But I do like the fact that all the books tie into this larger plot that overarcs the entire series. So I'm just like reading what this one's about. And I'm like, wait, that happens to the tribe? Oh my God, that's so tragic. Like that's a big deal. Like a lot of life-changing events happen to this tribe. Um, so yeah, now I'm really excited to get into this one super fun. This cover is also super ridiculous, but fun. This woman looks black. 
is there another black woman in this story? I knew there was a black, I'm like rambling now, but I knew there was another black character in like book three or four, but the old style art, her model was white and that kind of irritated me, or at least she looked white to me. But this woman on this cover looks black to me, even though her hair is straight. But like the blue monster, I love his long hair and his horns and everything. I don't know, I'm just like super excited. I've also really loved the new covers for these with like the art style of, I don't know, like the cartoony style. I just love them. I wanna collect them, but I just couldn't do it at the time because I only had one bookshelf. Spoilers, I have a, a new bookshelf. It's actually right next to me in a box and I'm gonna film a new bookshelf video for you. Hopefully coming in the next couple of weeks. It's hard to make time to film because there's not that much sunlight lately and I need my husband's help. So one of these weekends, we're gonna build it and I will film that for you. On to the next question. It says, is there a new release you're still waiting for? And not particularly, there is a release. There's only one release that I'd say is on my radar for the end of the year. It comes out in December and that's Gold by Raven Kennedy, I think her name is. This is like the fifth book in the Plated Prisoners series. I absolutely love the first three books. The third book in particular, I was like, oh my God. Then the fourth book, I was kind of like, mm, this is okay, but like, I was starting to lose trust in the author, like knowing where the story was going. So I felt a little discouraged. I was like, what's the point of it all? <laughs> I'm mostly here for the romance, you know what I mean? So maybe I'll pick up the fifth one. I'm not super like foaming at the mouth for it, you know what I mean? Um, I did watch Hannah Blackwell's recent video. I think it was like a book haul or I don't know, maybe it was the end of the year tag, I don't remember. But she mentioned this book and she said it was supposed to be a five book series, I think, and now it's turning into like a six book series. And she didn't feel great about that either. She was like, why are they doing that? And I can agree, it just adds to this feeling of like not trusting the author to like know what the plan was from the beginning. You know what I mean? My take <laughs> when it comes to series is that the author should know generally early on in the writing process of a series, like what the main beats are from beginning of the series to the end. Even if like you write your first book and you don't know you're gonna get a series deal or whatever, like at least in the second book, you should know what's gonna happen at the end of the series. If you're just like going with it, it worries me. Cause I'm like, don't waste my time. Hopefully it's still really good and really fun and makes a lot of sense and isn't boring and too fantasy. If it's too fantasy, I like lose interest. I'm like, I'm mostly here for the romance and when it's like the same couple for so long, what else can you do? You know what I mean? So. Whatever. I think I skimmed it, the last one, the fourth one. I skimmed the end, because I was like, it's a romance. Nobody's gonna die, really, right? Next is, what are the three books you want to read before the end of the year? Okay, I have some books here that I wanna talk about. I'm gonna start off with some books I definitely wanna read by the end of the year. So I have The House on the Cerulean Sea. I need to read this for my family book club. I kinda talked about this in my November TBR video, so I'm not gonna go into too much depth with this, but definitely gonna read this before the end of the year mandatory. And then I also have this book, A Touch of Darkness. I picked this up with my friends Monica and Maddie a couple months ago in a vlog that I will link in the corner for you. We went to the Ripped Bodice here in New York City. It's in Brooklyn. Monica, she didn't want to buy the physical copy. She is an audiobook person. So she was waiting for her hold to come in from the library and she just got it. So she's like, guys, we are ready to go. Let's read this book together. And I was like, totally down. So I definitely want to read this before the end of the year so I can chat with my two book girly friends about it. This is like a Persephone's Hades retelling. I think it's like fairly modern times and it's steamy and probably smutty and sexy and I haven't read a smutty, sexy book with my two IRL friends before, so <laughs> I'm excited to see what they think. And I don't know how much, I don't know. Like I haven't had like deep discussions about like a smutty book with a friend before. Well, I did buddy read that Shrek book with Sam and some other friends on stream. But besides that, I don't know if I have. So very excited to get to this. And then, this next book I wanna talk about, which is really two books, is kind of disappointing and disheartening and like, 
frustrating to kind of talk about. Um, this author has been kind of canceled by parts of the book community. Um, other people are still really talking about this series, which, you know, to each their own. I still kind of want to like read this book and I don't know, like I, I'll just show you what it is. Okay. Okay. So it's Iron Flame. <laughs> I got the special edition of it with the black sprayed edges. I was very excited about it. And then uh, I was seeing things where like basically people were canceling Rebecca Yaros because she didn't speak up on the Palestinian problems going on. She didn't seem to like, she just wasn't saying things that people wanted to hear. I obviously am against the violence against the Palestinians. I think it's disgusting. I'm. I'm horrified. I am very undereducated on the whole situation, um, but I know that for a fact that killing these people is completely wrong and it needs to stop, okay? This book, I still wanna read it. I am waiting for my copy of Fourth Wing to come in. That's gonna be the second book. So it's like four books that I wanna read before the end of the year. I got the holiday edition, the red one, that also should have the matching black sprayed edges. But the ETA on its arrival is still unsure by Amazon. I'm waiting. I haven't read Fourth Wing. I did not jump in on the immediate hype of it. I was like, oh, it didn't really seem that interesting to me off the cuff, but the hype was just so insane. And the special edition's coming out and then it started getting to me, especially when this one was gonna come out. And I was like, I don't wanna miss another opportunity to like jump on the hype train, get good content for you guys to talk about a really trendy, popular book. So you can know my thoughts on it. If I would endorse just the story in general, if not this author, um, and then, yeah, I was just seeing that people were kind of half canceling her, but then a ton of people were still talking about her books. So I just feel very strange about it. Uh, please don't hate me for talking about this book, please. And it's just something that like, maybe if it wasn't because of this channel, it, was, it wouldn't be a book that I would have picked up anyway. But I was like, okay, I'll give it a try because it will be good content, it will be fun in that regard at least. And now I'm just like, can I, am I even allowed to talk about it? So. If you, for some reason, don't know what Fourth Wing is about, it is about a woman going to like a war college and they have dragons and it's like a very dangerous college where like people die all the time. And I don't know what this war is about. I don't know why a school would let their students die on purpose, but there are things you just have to give like, you just have to give the benefit of the doubt and just like let it slide. And then this is the sequel to that. I think the series is all supposed to be fairly long. I think I've heard rumor that it's supposed to be five books. And then I heard some people like not like loving this one. I definitely saw that Tori from A Novel Life had like mixed feelings on this. I don't think she really vibed with the second one. But then my friend from college, a person I know in real life, Morgan, she did a TikTok reading this book and she was literally crying. So intrigued, but just definitely go in knowing that there's some drama going on with this author. Maybe don't support her right now. Some people are saying just like get her books like pirated or something. So you don't have to support her if you still want to read the story. I don't know. I cannot keep up with all the drama. I'm so sorry. I'm not a perfect person. I'm doing my best. I already bought this before I knew that she was canceled. Okay. But yeah, that's enough about that. Okay. I feel really weird and bad about it, but also like, I still want to make good fun content for you guys. And I own it. I spent my money on it, so I want to get my money's worth content-wise. Okay, hopefully you can understand. Um, please don't cancel me. <laughs> Moving on to the next question, it says, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? So there are two books that I don't know if I'll read them by the end of the year, but if I do, they could definitely shock me and become new faves for 2023 and they are the seven year slip and forget me not i've been hearing amazing things about these from the book girlies this one in particular because i heard about it before like everyone was giving it a lot of praise and stuff and it was just like okay how do you make a time traveling relationship work like logistically in my brain i cannot fathom that so i didn't want to pick it up but then i got this in one of those blind dates with a book and the hype has been so positive about this that it could really surprise me and I could love it. So I hope that happens. And then this one, I mean, would it shock me, shock me? At this point, I'd be more surprised. No, I guess I would be shocked if I really, really loved it because sometimes I get in my head when people are saying a book is so, so good 
that my expectations are too high and then I don't like it nearly as much. So I really want to give it five stars because so many people have been giving it five stars. But like in reality, I'm like, okay, my expectations are going to be too high. I'm probably going to give it like three to four stars. But then I will be surprised if I actually give it five stars. So it kind of comes back around again. Um, so yeah, for that answer, I'd say these two books. And I really do hope I love them. I'd be honestly more shocked if I hated them. And then the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for next year? And I'd say not officially, but I do want to read series more next year. I want to like binge series more. I really enjoyed my experience reading Jade City with my friends and binging that for being book club. So I want to do that again again let me know if you'd be interested in co-hosting with me any more series readathons book club events so yeah i have some series in mind so i'll show you i want to do i'm considering these series right so i'm considering the poppy war series i read the first one i have yet to read the second and third one so i would do a reread and then continue on similarly i have the broken earth trilogy i've read the first one and didn't continue but i want to read them back to back to back so that could be another option for a series readathon or just like for me to read in general back to back to back doesn't have to all be for a book club and then another one that's actually exactly the same but a little bit chunkier is the bronze horseman trilogy i read the first one i didn't read the second and third one i didn't even know they existed when i read the first one this is another series i kind of want to binge i don't know if i would do this series for a book club but I do want to do it for myself. <laughs> I want to read them back to back to back for myself. Wow, what a stack. And then the last pair of books I have here is a duology that's in a larger series, but I just have these two. It's Binding 13 and Keeping 13. I would love to read these two back to back next year as well. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've done this tag down below and I'd love to check out your videos. If you enjoyed my version of this tag, definitely leave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'd greatly appreciate it. And obviously it helps out my channel and I will catch you in another video. Bye.